Greetings. No fun and games for this intro, okay? This is a very serious match. I'm playing against Sen. Vicious Sen. Uh, Ex-champ of the league. Reigning champ. Um, I know I said I'm the champ. I'm the future champ. So, just to be clear on that. So I know a lot of you are confused. Oh, the ch you're the champ, they say, coming from the future. No, no, no. This is Sen, he's the current reigning champion at the time of this recording. So, this is a very serious matchup for me. Uh, I did a lot of preparation uh, for this match. Taking him very serious. Have I mentioned that? So, he's got a good team. Um, pretty pretty dangerous team. His team actually got rated a perfect 100 in the uh, power rankings. Literally flawless team. So, uh, <laughs> as opposed to mine, which got 19 out of 100. So, if my if my team was twice as good as it is right now, it would still be an F. It still wouldn't hit 50. In fact, if my team was five times better than it is right now, still not as good as Sen's. No, pretty close though. So, obviously I'm at a huge disadvantage here, but as the humble protagonist of the league, you know, I'm the underdog, so it's very fitting. Um, so, a few things I noticed about Sen's team. Well, Gengar and Mandibus synergize really well, which is great for him. Uh, um, but he has some weaknesses. Mainly that the combination of fire and fairy coverage really hurts his team. Other than Gengar, Dracovish fairy, uh, Mandibus fairy, Caesar fire, Flygon fairy, Rabambi fire, Sharpedo fairy, Hitmonchan fairy, and then you skip a couple Thwacky fire. So, um, I'm gonna try and capitalize on that. Now, let's get into who I brought. Grab the old uh, nunchucks here. Oh, we have uh, G Max Cinderace with the heavy duty boots and court change. Um, Pyro Ball, and yes, Bounce. Bounce again for, um, uh, just for boosting my speed, because I think, you know, he might bring, like, Scarf Dracovish or something like that. Scarf Flygon is a real possibility. Uh, I brought Zen Headbutt to mostly just hit Gengar. Um, but Core Change, so I didn't really want to fit Defog or Rapid Spin on my other guys, on my team. Oh, I just realized my layout is completely wrong. Ha! Huh. Uh, let's cut. I'll fix that right now. Okay, fixed it. Um, let's move on. We have Starmie. Um, this is going to be a Specs set. Sorry, Scarf set. Uh, I went with Scarf to outspeed the Scarfers uh, that I just mentioned. And, uh, well, it outspeeds Gengar. It, afford it lets me go modest while also outspeeding Gengar. And funnily enough, so he's modest max speed. Um, he actually speed ties uh, Jolly Flygon at max speed if he's scarped as well at level 50. So that'll be interesting. If uh, I think I'm gonna lead Starmie and just um, uh, flip turn depending on the matchup, potentially trick. Um, so Flygon's gonna be a 50-50. Um, if, if, it's gonna tell me a lot. If he leads Flygon and stays in, uh, and I get a flip turn off, well, regardless, if he stays in, I know, I can probably assume that he's Scarf because he wouldn't wanna take a an Ice Beam. But if he stays in, he just U-turns out, there's no threat of an Ice Beam for him. And I can infer potential scarf, uh, but there's also a 50/50 chance he just U-turns before I can even move, which would hide the fact that I'm scarfed. So we'll see. And, and unless he's first impression, 
then I'm in trouble. But I doubt that. But maybe. Uh, but I put Trick on Starmie for Mandibuzz, who I expect is going to be switching in. Say I get Starmie in on Gengar. Mandibuzz is a pretty obvious switch, usually. Um, yeah. Trick would really cripple uh, Mandibuzz. And then Dazzling Gleam is a 2 KO on Dragovish. Um, I think it's a 3 KO on Mandibuzz. I think it's a 2 KO on Flygon, if not 1. Probably want to go on Sharpedo. Regardless, yeah, it's uh, it's a good cover to move for his team. Um, for whatever Psychic doesn't hit, aside from Caesar, I guess. Um, next we have Weezing with the coveted uh, Fairy Fire uh, coverage. So he hits everything super effectively, other than Gengar, Hitmon, or no, even Hitmonchan. Gengar, Melodic, and Meowstic. And he doesn't care really about... Did I say Melodic? Miltank and Gengar. He doesn't really care about them. Ah, that's not true. So, like a very powerful Gengar special attack would hurt it. But, uh... Yeah, only really Meowstic is an immediate, like, Oko threat, potentially. If it's Specs. Whoops. <clears throat> um... Yeah, Will-O-Wisp for the physical attackers, it comes in on pretty freely, and there are a couple. Um, I am expecting him to bring Caesar though, because Caesar can bullet punch Weezing and use U-Turn or Bug Bite on Umbreon. Normally the, the combination of Umbreon and Weezing are fantastic defensive core. Weezing's really good physically defensively, Umbreon's pretty good at both, but specializes in special. And uh, they cover each other's weaknesses. We Umbreon can pass wishes. Um, yeah, they're great together. Oh, and the fact that Umbreon can hold leftovers and Weezing can hold Black Sludge. In an item clause league, that's very valuable. So, they're usually going to be my uh, my boys. Caesar is able to hit both super effectively with its um, stab moves, so. Fire Blast Oko's it. And I can take a bullet punch, I think, even if it's banded. Um, yeah, there's that. Aromatherapy, I like to have for, you know, I don't like when uh, Cinderace gets paralyzed. Oh, I also went with Analytic instead of Natural Cure on Starmie, which kind of sounds stupid uh, on a Scarf set. Because basically how analytic works is you get a life orb boost when you're slower than your opponent, but it also takes into effect when your opponent switches. So, uh, yeah. If someone switches in on a psychic and it's not Mandibuzz, it's going to be basically like life orb boosted. Uh, and the same goes for Flip Turn and Dazzling Gleam. We got Umbreon, Leftovers, especially Defensive, you know, Toxic and Yawn. Yawn is for Gengar, Protect to stop a U-turning drowsy Caesar, or just to protect against Gengar, who's like Gigantamaxing or whatever, just to stall out the turns. Um, it can live Focus Blast or Dazzling Gleam from Gengar pretty easily. Uh, it's like not even a 2 a KO, I don't think. And then Moonlight just for recovery. And we have uh, Machamps.org. Um, I went with the special, well, it's actually a mixed set. Clangorous Soul to boost my speed to uh, outspeed a Scarf Dracovish. Um, and the rest of my stats get boosted. But I lose some health with Clangorous Soul, so I have Drain Punch on there. Um, to get it back, and then Clanging Scales and Flamethrower are just uh, the coverage I need for the rest of the team, pretty much. And he's uh, he's actually Throat Spray, Serious Nature, which is rare. Um, throat Spray gets me the extra special attack boost. And yeah, Bulletproof, because Gengar's best moves are usually Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast. So. If he's rocking those, 
I'm immune to all three, but he also gets Dazzling Gleam, so I'm gonna have to scout for that. And lastly, GG Inducer makes his return. Um, Stealth Rock, Toxic, Scald, Protect, because he doesn't really have any other good moves. Um, Eviolite, Defensive. Oh, he's negative speed in case of some kind of Trick Room Dracovish. I noticed Sen picked up Porygon. So uh, I'm on to you, Sen. Um, if he wants to do that, I still have speed in Trick Room. And yeah, I only brought him for Dracovish. And he knows that I have Palpitoad. And so he might not even bring Dracovish. Especially because I feel like Flygon is really good against me. And he probably doesn't want to be redundant with his Dragon typing. But even if he doesn't bring Dracovish, uh, Palpitoad's pretty good at checking Caesar, like coming in on bullet punches or whatever. Um, checks Flygon, all right, and Sharpedo as well. So yeah, that's the team. Um, should be a close game. Sen is a good player. Uh, and let's uh, cut right to the match. Okay, we're back. We have Sen here. Uh, just picking the rules, obviously. We um, we spent about an hour and a half just trying to troubleshoot the stupid uh, land mode thing to try and get a longer timer. Um, we can't, we were right at the end and it just wouldn't cross the finish line. We actually got it to work for a split second and then I think it timed out on my end because I stopped paying attention. Um, <laughs> so, that's too bad. And then we couldn't get it to work again. There is hope though. We uh, managed to get through, you know, we, we cleared a bunch of hurdles, I think as far as like first timers go. So we're gonna try again, hopefully. All right, let's see who he's got. Okay. Dracovish, uh, no Flygon, Gengar, Mandibuzz, no Rubombi, Caesar, Sharpedo, no Thwacky, Meow Stick. Okay. Cool. Hmm. So, if I had to guess, I would say Scarf Dracovish. The only other guy it would be would be Gengar. And Trick Gengar is a real threat to my team. Well, I mean, it's just a real threat because I would switch Umbreon in on Gengar. Um, and I don't want Scarf Umbreon. Regardless though, I'm going to go with the plan and see who he leads with. Meow Stick's interesting, but I have uh, Cinderace, Core Change. That was part of the reason I brought Core Change, along with the fact that I didn't want to do hazard removal on the other guys. Okay. Big match. Big match for yours truly. Maybe not for Sen, but... <laughs> okay. Now, this is interesting. So... <laughs> if he's Scarf Modest, he outspeeds. Anything else, I can flip turn on him. And I think he probably brings in Mandibuzz, right? But uh, I'm not gonna go for Trick right off the bat. That would be risky AF. He is Scarf Modest, are you kidding me? Okay, wow. <laughs> so the problem with this is, damn. I can't believe that. Um, I could go into bulletproof Komo'o, but then if he, he can just Dynamax and go for max like Starfall, I, 
could try and bait him out though. That's tough, man. That's really tough. That puts me in a huge hole. I did not expect him to be max speed Scarf. We'll just go for the safe play here. Maybe we can bait out the Dynamax. Even though I have Bulletproof again. The uh... So I think he either switches or gets huge. I'll just go for Yawn, which is kind of the mid-ground play. Yeah. Because if he brings in Caesar, Toxic wouldn't work either. Okay. I'm not sure why he would have went to this guy. Against me. Man, not having Starmie hurts. Big time. And not having foul play sucks as well. I didn't think he would switch in on me. That's surprising. Well, he's not going to go for Psychic, right? So I can probably go for Weezing here. Oh! No shit. Missy Terrain means that he won't get put to sleep. Very good. That means I could do anything to him with Umbreon. Why would he do that? Huh. Um, I don't want to take a Psychic here. Go back to Umbreon and see what he wants to do. Misty Terrain, eh? Huh. That means he can't status me. Yeah. Like, I can still core change this. If I want, he might go for a Reflect here. That would probably be the natural play. <clears throat> And then if he does status me, I mean he can't actually with Misty Terrain, so that helps. But if he does later, on like say Thunder Wave Cinderace, I have uh, Aromatherapy. Okay, Mandibus. Fun fact, I can actually Toxic Mandibus because he's not grounded. So, had I went for it there, would have worked. I don't want to take a foul play or a knockoff here. But I also don't want light screen up. So I'm going to core change. And then I can switch to Kamo O. And maybe go for some kind of, uh, some moves on him. We'll see. I mean, he's got me in an uncomfortable position, though. I can't believe he killed Starmie right off the bat. Didn't expect that. So, here we'll see if he's banded. I don't imagine he goes for Ficious Rend, but um, if he does like 50 to 60 with Outrage, he's banded. Anything less? Okay. That's alright, I can get a Brox here. Um, I don't think he has any way of boosting, to my knowledge. Unfortunately, I can't really break his sub though. I have to think about that. I'm still gonna get up the rocks. I 
How do I break a sub? Damn, I almost ran Boom Burst on, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Damn. Uh, almost ran Boom Burst on... Komo'o! But I thought Flamethrower was better. Guess not. So Psychic Fangs, eh? Damn, this is actually a problem. Because, like, how much is Skull doing? <laughs> Not much. Like, 5%. Okay. Um, damn. He's got me in a tough spot. But I know he's not banded. He's not a life orb either. Wait. Noob question, but does Yan go through sub? I don't think so. I'm sorry, Stan, I'm taking so long here. Um, I really wanted us to be able to use the zero timer thing. Surprise, he's got Fish's Rend. Okay. Damn, I wish I had, um... Rocky Helmet on him. But then he wouldn't be as defensive. Okay, how well does Weezing do against a Fish's Friend from Stupid Dracovish? Big, dumb, Dracovish. So stupid. He's so dumb. Eh, that's a lot. <clears throat> Let's hope he goes for crunch again. Fuck. Yeah, okay. So I can take a Fidgets Rend. Um, it's gonna hurt. I could take a Psychic Fangs as well. He actually might go for that just to be safe. I can break his sub and then we'll go from there. Yeah, okay. He goes for Psychic Fangs in uh, a bit of worry about um, Palpitoad. He's a little worried about that, which I get. Vicious Friend would have done more. And at this point, there's a small chance Psychic Fan KOs, but Vicious Friend is a guaranteed KO, so he might go for it. But I cannot risk him subbing again. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go, yeah. Is he adamant? Probably. Okay. Ugh. This is my chance here. I think he's gonna switch. I'm gonna do some major work. Unless he stays in and uses Outrage. That would be shitty for me. Is it time to do the major work? Unfortunately, he still has like some heavy uh, checks to my team, but I need to use this opportunity 
to just like get back in the game. So we're gonna try that. Okay, Caesar gets messed up. Luckily he doesn't know, well actually he will know right away, thanks to Throat Spray, <laughs> that I'm the special variant. So Bullet Punch I probably, I don't think it does much. Oh he ended up rocks up, that's, that's actually really nice. If um, Mandibuzz isn't... Oh, that's great. He didn't even go for... Uh... This is looking good, actually. He didn't go for Bullet Punch. Um... I don't know how much I do to Gengar. In fact, I bet Scarf Gengar is still faster with Dazzling Gleam. I'm probably dead. Fuck. <laughs> I did not expect Scarf Gengar. I mean, I thought about it, but there's so many other things Gengar can do that it's like, odds are it's probably not that. Yeah, okay. I'll just Dynamax right now, no problem. Right? No problem. Um, realistically, I should switch. He's gonna outspeed. Um... Let's see. I, I do have actually Spadef investment to deal with Max Mindstorm Gengar. I can live one. <laughs> but if he has uh, Dazzling Gleam. Wait. Oh. I'm sorry. Again, Sin, I'm so sorry. I just really want to do this right. So I don't. I don't want to take so long, but I, you know. Nice thing about Drain Punch is I can come back in and do that again. If I just heal up a bit. Let's see if he's Scarf Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No chance I was living that. I can at least... Um, I can probably stall out his turns with Umbreon here. I can't yawn him though because of fucking the Misty terrain. That's so annoying. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, I live this. Oh, that's not good though because the fact that he Dynamaxed before choosing a move means he won't be choice locked when he's undynamaxed. But keeping Komo'o alive, actually, this is good. Because now Komo'o can come in freely on uh, Sludge Bombs, um, Focus Blast, or uh, what's it called? Shadow Ball. He's bulletproof, and I don't have a risk of him Dynamaxing and switching his moves. So getting this out of the way is nice. Dealing with a super powerful Gengar is not fun. Plus one attack, plus one special attack. Or sorry, plus one speed, special attack. Especially because I can't put him to sleep. I wish I had foul play. I took it off last second too. I was like, I don't need foul play. Umbreon's good enough, baby. He wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, so I think his best move is probably... Fuck, man. Can plus... All right, let's see. Um, P 
plus one Dazzling Gleam is not enough to really hurt Cinderace. I think that's what he'd go for. Nice switch. Okay, okay. I might be able to get some uh, momentum here. Yes. Good, good, good. It is my turn to Dynamax, you see. Do you see? Um... This should be a 2 KO. If you roost right here, good play. Not. It's a dead man to buzz. This move is super powerful. Oh, so powerful. If he goes into Dracovish, I can probably kill him with uh, Max Airstream. Oh, he stays in. Fantastic. We'll see how much this does. If it's not max defense, uh, man of us, I could maybe kill him with max airstream. And then that puts him in a real tough spot. Three minutes left. Fuck this timer. We're just getting started, man. Yeah, airstream for sure. Because he's probably going to switch to. Oh, he did roost. Good play. Damn. Is he just going to stall me with uh, Mandibuzz at this point? I mean, in case he switches to Dracovish, I doubt he will. Just to get some, uh, yeah. Some guaranteed speed and neutral damage on what would have been a potential Dracovish. Yeah. This fucking timer. We were so close. I IT supported the hell out of this. That's what I do for a living. And I still, we couldn't get it in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... The nice thing is... Now I don't think any of his guys can 1v1 me. Well... I don't know, it's hard to say. But like... If he switches to Dracovish, I'm faster. I mean, I already was, but in case... No, I know it wasn't Scarf, actually. Is he just gonna roost for the rest of the game? Okay, I should live this. And... I'm not gonna bother predicting. He'll probably go Dracovish. Four times resist. But then I can Zen Headbutt. I mean, that hurry just stalls out the timer. Oh, I actually might get a kill here. This might be the W. Huh. Did I just win? It's gonna be close, I don't know. He's gonna need to bring someone in. They're gonna need to take Stealth Rocks. I'm surprised he didn't switch there. Man, I don't even know who's going to win. This is going to be a close one. I lost. Damn. Was it... It was 4-4. Yeah, damn. I wonder how much HP made the difference there. Fuck. We were just getting started. This game. Well, Sen, good game. Hopefully, uh, when I see you in the finals, we can figure out the timer by then. GG.